previously on Manny. Hey, Mr. Rudolph. Our performance at Jitterbug. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 sure, 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 we'll be ready. Yeah, yeah. Sky, why aren't you in class? In fact, that was quite impressive. Now you will have the honor and privilege of meeting my boss, Mr. Miyoshi, and continue on to the true test. Hold up. True test? G'day and welcome. Are you God? <laughs> I'm Mr. Miyoshi, founder of Jitterbug. Before you, before you freak out, let's take a little journey. Whoa! Oh, oh. Holy sh... I look good. <laughs> the name is Walter Whitman, born in the Australian outback to a family of kangaroo farmers on the 25th of July, 1952. I'm a Leo. I was one of six, one boy and five girls. The oldest, the smallest, and the weakest. I didn't let it affect me. I didn't care. My mother always said it's because Leos are arrogant. I caught my ruse strategically. Come and get me, boys. Passion for strategy. Games, all games. Card games, board games, mind games, puzzles, riddles, chess, checkers, hangman, especially game shows. Here's a new one and it's hot. Come on, wake up. Back then, game shows, sitcoms, all of it was safe. Garbage, boring. Trivia? Really? Who cares? They wanted prizes, winnings, stakes. I had a vision for the future of game shows. Something bigger, more exciting, with bigger cash prizes and much more relatable names. Unfortunately, my ideas were a little ahead of their time. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air? Not one, not two, not... Not 97, not 98, not 99, but a hundred air! Is there anything you want to say to your family at home? <laughs> Welcome back to So You Think You Can Wrestle, where we're searching for Australia's next best wrestler. Today's challenge, Vaseline. <laughs> Welcome to the first annual Hungry Games. I'm Walter Whitman, and uh, this is... Don't you mean Hunger Games? Uh, no. A tragic day in entertainment. The final four contestants on the Hungry Games have died of starvation. When pressed for comment, the Australian Broadcast Network has said, quote, they were not aware the stints on the show were real. That would be ridiculous. The show's creator, Walter Whitman, who did not hire an onset medic, has opted to be exiled from Australia instead of jail time. I went too big, too fast. The world wasn't ready for me. So I moved to Japan and opened a pachinko pub. Pachinko pach 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 what? <laughs> Classic Americans. Pachinko are like Japanese slot machines. Strategy, chance. Big winning! <laughs> That's how I found the love of my life. <sighs> Miyumi died in childbirth two years later, but not before leaving me my life's true purpose. Luke! Hmm? Being a father was my favourite job. Unfortunately, my business was another story. My pachinko parlour was failing. And sometimes, when you're at rock bottom, you'll take any idea. Do you see your new neighbours? A laundromat? No, the Sofotuni. We've noticed you've been struggling. We'd like to help you out. We'll make sure you stay open and we'll protect you. 
You just have to let us use your parlor as our base. I thought I was protected until it was too late. First the wife, and now the boy. I feel empty inside. I had to find my son. I had to defeat the Sovatuni. The Kuriyami had sympathy for my case. We will train you. Teach you how to fight. <laughs> we'll teach you how to be invisible. We'll teach you how to deceive. But no, at the end of the day, not everyone is cut out to be one of us. I sure wasn't. So you know what they say when the going gets tough? Bounce. So I did what I did as a boy. I went back to a strategy. I returned to the mountains and gathered as much jitter root as I could. I didn't need brute strength to defeat the Sofatuni. I just needed to hire those who could. After months of research, I figured out how to farm the jitter root and invented a method of consumption that was delicious. Pretty quickly, I needed help, so I brought on Miss Haruto to help with the expansion. And then I started making real money. You do not do What can I say? Bay caught the jitterbug. Holy God, this is you do not oh my freaking God! But pretty quick, I learned no amount of money could replace my son. With the money we made, I hired a private investigator who quickly found a lead on my son. And that's how I landed in Attaway. I knew that an adult would be hard to find, but a child? Like Kanye in a library. I created a campaign to find my family, who would without a doubt be the most talented, ambitious, and strategically minded in Attaway. I knew my grandchild would win the talent show. Now it's just a matter of confirming my true heir which is why I created the Jitterbug Factory. A series of puzzles and obstacles that only a true Miyoshi could solve. I wish you the best of luck.